Hey guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power on this thrilling Thursday here in Connecticut. <clears throat> Nothing for the rest of the week, guys. I'm going to be out of town. Maybe I can do something from a hotel room or something. I always say that, but I, it never works out. But we'll see. <clears throat> anyway, I was out doing some errands this morning, and I was listening to sports radio, which was my first mistake. <laughs> you talk about no brain and anyway that, that's another story okay but they were saying the commentators were saying and it's this is in the new york tri-state area so it's very yankees and mets centric they were saying that aaron judge who's having a tremendous year for the new york yankees should be the all-time home run leader if he beats roger maris's record of 61 home runs because he's clean and Mark McGuire, Sammy Sosa, and Barry Bonds were not. <laughs> now, Tiki and Tierney. Now, Tiki knows about steroids because he was on steroids when he was in the NFL. This is Tiki Barber, one of the announcers, the commentators. So he knows what he's talking about. So he, he, he's just lying. But uh, the notion that Aaron Judge is not performance in him is the biggest joke I ever heard. Now, he's a tremendous player. I don't know Aaron Judge. I'm sure he's a wonderful human being. But... Performance enhancing drugs are everywhere, especially in baseball. I mean, he's not the only one. I mean, his entire team is juiced to the gills, but Aaron Judge is the poster boy for bloated. <laughs> he's just on drugs. I mean, he just is. Now, <laughs> first of all, I have no problem with the drugs. I have no problem. They're everywhere in professional sports. And if you are going to have a problem with professional sports, you are not going to be able to watch professional sports. Tennis, golf, they're everywhere. And including Major League Baseball. The notion that the steroid era is done in Major League Baseball is a joke. Now, <laughs> what all these dolts these uneducated morons are clinging to, well, Aaron Judge has never failed a drug test. Well, either did Barry Bonds, either did Mark McGuire, either did Sammy Sosa. None of them do. You, you realize how dumb you have to be to fail a drug test? I, I mean, only a low-grade, really, a low-grade moron who is so dumb probably shouldn't have a driver's license. That, that's the only one that should should fail a drug test. What happens is this. Let's just say I'm a Major League Baseball player. And you and I are going to get ready for, get, get me ready for spring training, and we're going to go work out. And we run 20 miles, and we run right to the, um, the uh, health club, and we lift weights for an hour. And then we get in the pool, and we swim for an hour. And then we're going to go do yoga for another hour. And then I'm going to take batting practice for two hours. On and on and on. Now, when I'm done with that, with eight hours worth of intense working out, I'm going right to the clinic and I'm going to get a blood test. Well, two days two days later, when the blood tests come in, I get a call, a call from my uh, personal doctor. He says, Ralph, you have to get in here. Your testosterone levels are so low. We have to give you a supplement. This is dangerously low. Now, if we had waited 24 hours, my testosterone levels would have been back up. But, again, this uh, hypothetical call. I said, Doc, I, you can't give me testosterone. I got spring training in a week. I, 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 can't, I can't risk that. He says, that's no problem. I'll just notify baseball that you can, you need this for, for health reasons. They're very, very common. They, they, they can't do anything about that. I said, well, I can't have that. You know, I, I, I work for the Yankees. I can't have that come out. No, 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 no. This is patient, doctor, confidentially, confidentiality. That's by law. They can't leak it to anybody. That's how they get around it. And I say, if I'm as sinister as I may be, I say, well, doc, if you can get me testosterone, can get me some HGH while you're at it? What about some HCG? How about some andro? See what I'm saying? That's how they get around it. Every single, well, not every single one of them, 
most of them, I'm going to say 90% of them, about 99% of the Yankees are juiced to the gills. Juiced to the gills. Now, if he goes and breaks that record, that's fine. But the notion that Aaron Judge is any different from Barry Bonds, Sammy Sosa, whatever, is a joke. Is a joke. And I am one of the few people, as I said earlier, I don't care. They're everywhere. You are not going to watch sports if you are not going to watch, if you refuse to watch somebody that's on performance, there's nothing to watch. Track and field, are you kidding me? Football, are you out of your mind? <laughs> football, yeah, nobody on steroids or drugs in football. NBA, soccer, they're all on drugs. They're not the same drugs. They're not bulking drugs for soccer. And that, like tennis, you trying to tell me Rafael Nadal is not juiced? Give me a break. Give me a break. Anyway, speaking of working out, I got to go work out. Okay, so that's my thought for a day. But take off the rose colored glasses and just uh, enjoy the baseball. I mean, Aaron Judge is a splendid, a splendid baseball player. And even though I'm not a Yankee fan, you can't watch baseball and not appreciate what this guy is doing. But he's juiced. Case closed. And guys, don't point your finger at him like I'm doing. Don't. They're all juiced. John Carlos Stanton, Glaber Torres, that's just his team. Mike Trout. <laughs> Mike Trout isn't juiced. And the thing about it is, guys, one of the telltale signs. Every single guy that I just mentioned never played 162 games. They're all hurt. They're all hurt. Henry Aaron played 162 games, I think, like 11 times. Guys, and he wasn't juiced, Henry Aaron. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's hypocritical. And I don't care. Again, I don't care. Juice them up as far as I'm concerned. That's what everybody wants. They want bigger than life, uh, you know, cartoon characters that can hit a ball a thousand, thousand feet. Just hit balls out of Yankee Stadium. During uh, the McGuire Sosa home run uh, contest back in, the, back in the day, one of the greatest spectacles, one of the biggest drawing cards in sports was watching the St. Louis Cardinals and Mark McGuire take batting practice. Shoom, shoom, shoom. 500 foot, 500 foot home runs, one after another. That was better than the game. That's a fact. Anyway, got to run. Love you all. We'll talk about this some more.